Well, I was talking about this uh, <coughs> on stream yesterday as well. And we are kind of planning to go in the future for like even a third pair of gauntlets and also obtaining like a, a second battle axe and stuff because there's just quite a lot of usage for them. There are some scenarios where they are just very nice to have, especially the gauntlets. Um, I feel like there's more than enough, like for example Affliction Raids is a really really nice place to have the Chasm Quaker gauntlets. And on top of that the axe can come in useful in quite a few scenarios as well, I mean Chasm Quaker is one of them. But also stuff like Elite Barrows, I use it in raids quite a bit myself and uh, some other small things here and there. Just nice to have good special attack and stuff. So I do plan to do this more again in the future, especially now that it's also a, uh, a merchant task to collect both the shards and the, uh, and the alloys. So, you know, some good reason to continue going back to this boss that we didn't have before. Which is pretty nice in my opinion, I like that a lot. But for now we're just gonna focus on getting a second pair of gauntlets, just gonna be nice. Also would like to have those in case I want to do like AFK Firewatches on an alt account on Goba or Tai or whatever who's not playing at the time. <laughs> and it just makes them a lot more AFK, a little hiccup there, oopsie. There we go, took a few kills but uh, finally got the shards I needed. So now we can uh, make the gloves when Tai does his little master task and then we can make them awesome. Alright, we got another little e-corp spawning in two minutes. I've been doing some more crack and just chilling, but haven't really seen it. Well, I haven't seen any Leviathans as of lately. Um, gonna do e-corp in two minutes. I heard Sonert, uh, one of our buddies, is a 5kc off of Grandmasters. So once he gets that, me, Jimbo and him at least, and maybe someone else if they want to join, can uh, run some Grandmaster Affliction raids. Been a little while since I've done any raids, so I feel like it's a good time to get back into that. Alright, there we go, about to die. E Corp number 9 for the achievement, 9 out of 50. Oh, floor grats, dude. That's huge, man. Dude got 50 shards. Impressive. You'll love to see it on an Iron Man, that is impressive. But um, yeah, no loot unfortunately, just one more shard and none of the other group Iron Man are on from my group, so I'm the only one to get one. Unfortunate, but yeah, 41 more to go, and I love that you get 100 shards from that achievement as well. If me, Mr. and Ty all complete it, even if we don't get any like bonus shards, like 50 or 100, we'll still be able to get our next shield, which would be very, very nice. Alright, dealing with another E-Corp, the uh, Grabmaster plans unfortunately fell through once again, but some other time. Alright, good luck. Let's see if uh, it drops anything this time. Oh look, it's uh, nothing again, just one single s s thingy, so it's got a spectral. Oh well, we'll take it. It's all about the achievement is what I need to keep telling myself to remind me of how shitty these boss drops are. Alright, we're running some Grandmaster Affliction after all, so uh, let's see if we can get lucky today. Alright, let's see if there's anything on the first raid. I have no idea what my streak is at either. No purple, but it's... Oh, only four more raids, that is pretty good be able to see something soon then. 1050 Halloween tokens, lovely. But no rares for anyone. Another one, but I fucking died. <laughs> I got Venom that it stacked me out before I could drop my terror pet. Whoopsie doopsie. Is what it is, but it shouldn't really matter. You get a rare, you'll get a rare. And if oh my god, no Grets. Oh that's a code I rip, never mind. It's unfortunate Mr. Novi. Alright, another one. Any purples for anyone? Nope, absolutely none. Got a second account logged in just to check for purples. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> I fucking called that too. <laughs> I literally just said, best beans incoming. What? How the fuck did I predict that one? Interesting. I mean, obviously don't care about that, but that was kind of funny. Having uh, some funny runex making trains and shit. <laughs> I died. <laughs> All right, I could explain how, but it's not even worth going into. Fuck it. And another one. No rares. No purples, at least. Look at all those fairies. And then one falcon in between. <laughs> Any rares? Any, like, semi-rare? No? No. All right, this is about to be the next raid. And Christoph and I are both pulling our guaranteed purples. There is, without a doubt, me and Christoph pulling a purple. Of course, there's a chance. One of the other three might pull a purple as well. Let's go ahead and see who pulls the better item, I suppose. 
Oh my god, it's a purple Iron Kristoff and MGI Raymond. What? That's crazy, unexpected. <laughs> Good luck, man. He got an ancestral head and I got an epic pet box. I mean, that's definitely better. <laughs> oh, it's oh, congrats. It's uh, for his luck. That's nice. So is mine. But um, yeah. You know, you always hope for the affliction items, right? I mean, Epic Pet Box is pretty good, not gonna lie. And I can open it with the Falcon. Oh man, I was gonna stack him up, wasn't I? I'm a little too impatient for that. Huh, interesting. Epic Pet Box and an Ancestral Hat. The hat is kind of a rip. I mean, he needed it for Log, which is nice, but seeing two purples and then that is the result of it. Yeah, decent. I needed the Epic Pet Box, I think, though. Yeah, it's my first one. Okay, I'll take it. Let's see what we get. Ooh, the Monic Tarn Pad. I mean, not too shabby, I guess. Got ourselves another little E Corp. Let's uh, just focus on the kill this time and not fuck around and die like the last time. That was a huge waste. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Another little E Corp kill. Nothing in my name. Who was but That's a lot of drops, man. Huh? Oh, wait, something is from a fortune. Epic Pet Box, 50 shots, and an Ellie. Really hope I get a drop here sometime, man. Eh? At least like once in these 50 kills would be nice. Alright, we got ourselves another E Corp. It's already a brand new day compared to the last E Corp we saw. I've mainly been AFKing some stuff in between, but nothing really eventful enough to record has happened in between, unfortunately. Been doing some fire watches today, but haven't seen a blood shard or anything, so meh. Anyway, this is gonna be E Corp number 12. I did miss one earlier, which was really stupid of me, because I even tag my buddies in the Discord for that e -corp, but then I forgot about it myself. <laughs> what happens when you're AFK too hard, I do suppose. Alright, here we go. Let's see if it's anything. Nothing in my name, but I got two shards, okay. Better than one. Two alleys and a spectral as well for three people, not too shabby. Hey, speak of the devil, we actually just managed to get one, hell yeah. 3,809 KC. It's been a little while since my last one, uh, feels good. Not even that much later and we uh, see another blood shard. Time wise it's much later, but kill count wise it's not. Hey, it's already Monday, but we finally see another blood shard in our name. Absolutely beautiful. 4,177 KC, so like 300 kills later with Lux. Yeah, is what it is. Now, I've done a lot of fire watches in my time and honestly the dragon impling drop never felt accurate but actually this time around I got a pretty half decent amount of them I ain't gonna lie we have a little look at the bank we should have a total of 14 let's just open like 10 of them I think that's a fair amount and then after that I want to do something a little bit different but let's go ahead and see the loot from 10 dragon implings first see if we can get a nice little dragon hunter crossbow maybe not looking too good and a trash all around, okay. I mean, it'd be like that sometimes, right? It'd be like that sometimes. <clears throat> a bit unfortunate. Implings do have a lot of junk on their loot table. Dragon darts. Didn't even get any runecorn items. No dragon plate, legs, boots, daggers, pickaxe, claws, hunter crossbow, bolts and bones and that kind of shit. Oh yeah, we did get a DFS. I mean, that's fair, that's fair. Well, I mean, well, like I was saying, it's better than what it used to be at least, because I, honestly I wasn't getting shit for Dragon Amplings before. But what I want to do now, I believe my daily is resetting very soon, yeah, one minute left. And after it resets, I kind of want to give that a go, and what I mean with that is just do as many dailies as possible, and then perhaps even use a few of those daily scrolls to reset them. It also resets which one gets doubled and stuff like that. I want to do this one for 25k block money and do this one for the free implings and maybe do raids one. I'm not sure about that. But at least a lot of the easy and medium one for the luck tokens and all of that good stuff. Because we have 10 of these scrolls so it might come in useful. Not sure yet. I'm also at 100,000 Halloween tokens now even though I don't plan to do another chest to be honest. But I'm gonna just hold on to them for now. You know if I can get a clear in total that would be cool. Four blood shards banked, so we have a nice amount of backup for that, which is pretty cool as well. And our current blood fury is still at 5.3k charges, so we have a, a little, a little bit of usage for those for a while. Just notice I've been sitting on a little medium task, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that one real quick. 
I need to catch a bunch of lobsters and high elk tree mystic bottoms dusk, which I of course have a whole shitload of those. But yeah, I gotta go gather some lobsters first. The the bestest what? Oh, it's a lobster pot, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, cool. No biggie. No biggie, biggie. There we go. Didn't take that long. What will we get? Two ceridome and plates. Very nice. A lot more useful to do these now, even if you get no announcement special drop thingies. Merchant tasks, am I right? And uh, the merchant is resetting in roughly 5 hours and 15 minutes from now, so that would be nice as well. I will start doing those uh, dailies I was talking about very soon, but this is also a daily, you know? Complete 5 tasks for a hard casket and stuff like that, so... Fire shades doubled on this one, enormous mole on this one, which is... A little hard to brute force, you gotta get lucky to see five of those and rock crabs or three dirty luck tokens. But first things first, let's go ahead and clear a few tasks if possible. Mining hat, kill 50 chaos elemental, bury 301 wyvern bones. That's a pretty easy one. I don't know what the mining hat is though, because there are... Okay, well this one is quite literally called mining helmet, so that must be it, yeah. Kill 50 chaos elementals, bury 301 wyvern bones. Bit of a tedious one, but definitely doable, and you don't have to kill him in the wildy either. As a matter of fact, it's actually quite convenient that I get to do stuff in the elite zone, because you have these uh, donator elixirs, for those of you that don't know, inside of this zone, that doubles the donator tickets from all donator zones for an hour, so you get double the tokens, and it costs 15k of these elite tokens here. Now, why is that so convenient for me? Well, in the future, I will probably have to camp a few emol... Uh, Emol horns, or sorry, not emol, what the fuck am I saying? E corp horns for the uh, corp ethereal task. I mean, if I don't get all 50 done by the time we're close to basically finishing all the other achievements, it would be convenient to camp out a few horns myself to finish that off, so that's why I preferably would like to get that done. And now I just need to uh, fill my inventory real quick. Anyway, y'all know the deal. Alright, hard task completed. Third age amulet from that one, not too shabby. Ranger boots, I mean, ranges aren't particularly good, but a decent amount of room coins. 650, okay, okay, we'll, we'll take it. Caskets, ooh, one bag, oh my god. Alright, and this will complete another task, another hard one as well. <coughs> Three sacred tokens, actually, that's pretty good. And a Guffix coif, potential uh, merchant item thingy. Nice, I like that, I like that. Let's go ahead and get a few more. They're all easy like this, I do not mind doing the hard ones. Roomcraft and KFD, 46 Zoras, complete 4 daily money making activities. Well then, 2 birds with 1 stone I do suppose. I've got a little uh, Tanzanite Fang from Zora out of nowhere, that's, that's nice to see. Uh, another Tanzanite Fang? Ooh. I mean it's kinda just room coins to me, right, but still pretty nice to get. And this is why I was killing Zora, had to do 50 for this little task. Giving us a uh, absolutely nothing. Ropes of darkness. Yeah, it's kind of a shitty one. About to complete another one, and it also completes the daily, which is pretty damn nice. If this junk, well, Runex points. This one gives a 75 lux and a smoke battle staff and a gilded skinny tar, as well as a potential merchant item. And this one, kind of way worse. Um, Excalibur's junk, junk. Gilded skirt might be okay, but altogether not the bestest of items. And that is the Lava Dragon Daily completed as well. Moving on to the next one. Completed the Impling Daily as well, so that's another one. Another one I can do is the Barrels one, because it will mess with the loot from 400 barrels we're working from. Uh, working on the 400 Elite Barrels. I don't want that loot tab to become messed up by doing regular barrels, so I'm not gonna bother with that one. Um, can you please unnote? Ah, we'll open rest later, honestly. And a little full room coin exchange for another pretty decent money maker. Because of the free mystery box. Not too shabby, it's not too shabby. I think with that is the majority of stuff I wanted to complete. Rock crabs is done, you know, everything that gives luck tokens and such. Experiment. What is the skilling task one? Yeah, I don't care too much about that in particular. Slayer daily is done. Chompy doesn't matter. Can't do barrows. Green dragons irrelevant. Fire shades. It's a decent daily, but I just don't care enough about it. Nardamummies, ankus, all of that shit. This one I completed. 
this one for 25k blood money, this one for the implings and the uh, sack of tokens. The raid one is an option, but kind of CBA with that. The uh, merchant thingy is resetting in 40 minutes as well, which is pretty nice. Emo would be lovely to get done, but I'm not gonna wait for five emos to spawn. Nightmare's not worth going through the trouble for. Yeah, that's more or less it. Ooh, nice little Dragon Warhammer bonus rune coins. So yeah, with that we can uh, use it for the first time. I feel like this one in particular is going to be really nice for people that don't have the uh, Jungle Demon dailies done yet, the achievement, because you can just reset it and do multiple dailies in a single day. It's pretty nice. So yeah, now it has reset, let's have a look. Okay, so now Slayer is my double for 50 lux, which is really nice. On the medium it's back-to-back -back Fire Shade, bit unfortunate, and then the Raids one. See, that is a lot more worth doing it for, like 5 quick uh, normal chambers. Takes less than an hour, boom, you get a nice bonus reward. And if you're lucky, you might even see a purple or some bullshit, right? I say some bullshit because it would never fucking happen to me. But hey, altogether, it's a pretty interesting item and it has some nice usage. And now I can just do the rock grabs and all these shitty ones a second time for a whole bunch of bonus rewards, especially the Slayer. 50 Lux is pretty goddamn good, honestly. I'm gonna see if I have enough for a second exchange, although I kinda doubt it. And another full exchange. Gonna have to get some glorious gems again soon in the near future because of the Elite Barrows grind, but for now this is fine. Another little M boxy poxy. Gilded boots this time. Alright, well, I'm gonna go uh, chill for a bit. Loki kinda waiting for the uh, merchant reset now. 